Oh, why did my other guy die? Why did... Okay, he didn't. What the heck? What? Where did my thing go? Fifth one is way easier than fourth. Uh, inches of battlefield if it was kicked, tap up to three target permanents. Where did my larva thing go? Oh, it got sent to the top of the... Okay. Okay. Gosh darn it. Got sent to the top of my library, then shuffled back in. That's what happened. No, it didn't get exiled. It, because of whatever the that card was that he had blocking. Oh, I got three lands. So many forests in play. Okay, he wasn't kicked. Four, five. Um, block two. Two goes through. Yeah. I would have realized that if I would have like remembered what the card said. Wouldn't have done it. Wouldn't have let it go through. I just waited for something else to hit it. Mysteries of the Deep. Draw two cards, landfall. If you had a land enter the battlefield under your control this turn, draw three cards instead. Awesome. Did you? No, nope, just two. Getting manis messed over here. <sighs> okay. You know, I'm doing it. I'm doing it to you. And I'm attacking for all. GG. <laughs> Negative ten. Yeah, the these deck. I think the green usually has quite easier rounds, but then is what Bum is saying. I it totally scares me for the next couple of matches. <laughs> As the royal subsides, the land before you. Uh, col coalesces into the earthen beast like form the elemental approaches you with its head low and you know that it is an ally you form a bond with it and you sense that it will guide you the rest of the way to Alcum alright your journey into the mountains becomes harder with each step. As you approach a towering peak, the darkness grows into something almost tangible. The land tells you that uh, the land tells you this is the source of the blight. You reached out to it, and suddenly your mind is overwhelmed by otherworldly visions of an ancient horror. I'm guessing this is the Eldrazi one. Yes. Okay. Your visions show a str strange beings attacking. Survive these assaults to see the source of the corruption, the Eldrazi behemoth. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> right. Woo!
Alright guys, let's take another YouTube break here. If you guys haven't checked out the channel, make sure you go do so. Leave a like, subscribe on or subscribe to the channel, leave some likes on some of the videos. Check them out. Um, we got some really awesome stuff over there and we're going to be releasing uh, two more co-ops with a couple of guys that we usually stream with, Curly Fries, um, and then uh, Mr. Game Garage later this week on top of some speedrunners, Rocket League, Muffin Knight, episode three of Alice Madness Returns and uh, let's see what else we got what else we got um we're gonna do an Unreal 3 video as well and then possibly another episode well the next episode in the series of the Night of the Rabbit um, which is just a really fun gorgeous game a gorgeously soundtracked game uh, that it's oh it's just beautiful but it's a simple point and click so you can easily just hang out in the back and listen to the music and uh, not get too rushed with a whole lot of info there. Leash is 100 HP. Okay, so what what's the deal with this here? Um, uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, behemoth. Okay, so this is going to be a life gain. Hopefully land... What is this? Uh, oh, gains trample and that until end of turn. Okay. So, two, three. I got that. I got. Eh. I feel like this could be better. Four. All of that garbage. Nope. I'm going to try again. But yeah, also leave some comments on some of those videos too, uh, expressing what you guys feel that I could do better, if anything at all, um, which I'm pretty sure of it. I feel that I need to boost my confidence with commentary a little bit, but I'd like, I'd like to hear what you guys think. I need some, I need some outward ears uh, and express things that you feel that I can fix for either the series, if there is some sort of an audio fix or something like that or if you guys feel like I need to shift screens around whatever you got whatever you got um, yeah yeah Eldrazi <laughs> way better commentary well I I'm still struggling to be honest all that I do is I watch others and I figure out what I attach to best and then I just I try to go with it and find some sort of flow. I I get stagnant and stunk stuck sometimes. It but it's it's crazy. Yeah, it's like, I find that's like my kicker too. Is sometimes I just feel like I've got the energy, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to record, I'm ready to stream, whatever. And then, as I'm doing it, it's like a camera shy almost. Streaming, I, it's a little more open because I'm actually communicating with people and it's closer to almost like a face-to-face -face conversation with a lot of people. Um, per se, I guess. Um, but it gets gradually... like I. I basically just get to sit here and I don't have to worry about time strains, having to record for an episode for 20 or 30 minutes and then figure out, okay, I need to cut out all of the spots that I'm not talking all the so that it keeps going. But then also when I'm not talking, am I cutting out parts of the gameplay that uh, needs to um, like act that's mandatory to be in there um, and that sort of thing. Oh, seriously? You're going to kill it right off the bat? Oh, man. Should have waited. There's the fifth land there. These Adrazis are just going to be little pains in the butt. Oh, really? Fire in forests. Nest Invader. Eldrazi Drone? 
Nestivator enters the battlefield, put a one colorless Ladrazi spawn creature token onto the battlefield that has sacrificed this creature, add one colorless to the mana pool. Wow. Okay. You know, and that might just be a thing, too, is you could just do it just like that. So you read at the beginning of the video. Hey, you guys, I'm ICLMT, the Therapist Gamer, and welcome to episode, or, and welcome to Magic the Gathering. Woo! And then have that cut into, like, a 10-second intro clip to your Let's Plays or something like that, whatever you got and then go right into the video so, alright you guys in today's episode or start off with the, today's episode thing um yeah just break it up it's oh I should have waited for that next turn cause I'm probably gonna get hit with an Eldrazi something rather that's a cool looking token I didn't read the th the box at the beginning. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, you guys. Bum, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to actually like, kill it? Or, like, deck it out? Another Eldrazi drone. This is a battlefield. Put two one one colorless spawns onto the field. Sacrifice each. Okay, so they're gonna be doing something big for colorless. Um, please give me something for artifact. Maybe this one. Yeah, um, <laughs> survive probably means kill. Uh, skip attack. Something with flying, four, five, six. So we've got six land in, on the field. See, those are cool. Those are really cool. <clears throat> I uh, just about put three Eldrazi spawns onto the battlefield. Crap. Whoa. Oh, is he sacrificing? He's sacrificing one to duplicate things. Oh, and they're different each spawn. That's cool. I wish I was cool like that had multiple rad things look I just gained four life now maybe if I get up to his life <laughs> I might be able to just tap out or something four five six seven eight that's probably my favorite though it's like something out of Elder Scrolls three Morrowind skip attack this turn Which attack? Okay, four. Okay. I'm waiting for like a massive Eldrazi. Holy crap! Seriously? I don't even like. I don't even know what to do anymore. That NPC is rich. Buying expensive Eldrazi. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like every one of them is just super expensive. That'd be nice to have a sweet Eldrazi deck like this, though, right? <gasps> Ooh, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm making, I'm making, 
Eldrazi deck. Do some price matching here. Search your library for a basic land card. Put that under the battlefield tab.